Hello, my name is Aaron. I do rants and reviews, and this is a review of Starry Internet. Now, if you haven't heard of Starry, it's an internet service provider that operates in a select number of cities here in the United States, and that includes uh, Los Angeles, Denver, Boston, as well as New York and DC. Uh, and they're a small company, and well, if you've been watching the news, they might not exist in a couple months. The company's currently in the midst of some financial troubles, uh, so this video might be totally irrelevant in a couple months. Um, suffice to say, they are not sponsoring this video because they have no money. Uh, so if you want to support the channel, just like and subscribe, you know the drill. Uh, anyway, I've had a lot of internet service providers, uh, starting with Cox and then AT&T and uh, uh, Google Fiber, uh, you know, and previous to Starry uh, being available where I live, I had Comcast Xfinity, which is everyone's favorite to hate on. And all of those were not great. Uh, AT&T and Cox make you rent your equipment. Uh, other companies, uh, like when I first moved in, um, I thought I had a choice between Verizon and uh, Xfinity, but it turned out that Verizon only offered seven megabits uh, and you also had to bundle the phone line with it. So it was like $70 for seven megabits per second. It was ridiculous. So I went with Xfinity initially because it was literally the only option. And then Starry showed up. They offered uh, 200 megabits uh, for just $30. Uh, that price has not now gone up. That was an introductory offer. Um, and it's a steal. Uh, so it's been really great so far. Uh, and I have no complaints. Uh, so my experience has been really great. Uh, there has been uh, a couple of uh, hiccups here and there, but I had Xfinity for a year prior to that. And I honestly had the same amount of uh, service interruptions. I would say no more than uh, three that I've noticed a year. It's possible that the internet has gone out uh, when I wasn't home, uh, but I've only noticed about three outages over the course of a year, uh, which is about the same as I had with Xfinity. They usually resolve themselves in a couple hours. Uh, so no complaints there. They send you your own router. You don't have to pay for the router. It's included, which it should be for any service. Um, so all these companies are just ripping people off. And usually it's because literally no one else is available. So they don't have to compete. Um, so this is the router you get. They used to have these fancy triangular ones. They don't do that anymore. So you just get a generic uh, router, it works fine. Um, been able to stream and connect movies and a, a Google Home device and a bunch of other stuff with zero issue. Um, again, it's just been a really great experience overall, which is why I am so frustrated that they're not doing well financially and their stock is penny stocks at this point. It's just not great news. Uh, and so I really just wish that more people would support this company because it works really well. Uh, a lot of reviews online, uh, I'm not even going to pretend to explain how their technology works, uh, but it basically sends a sort of wireless signal to a hub on your apartment complex or your, in your neighborhood, and then that gets routed through the uh, households via the traditional copper or fiber wire there. Um, so. I connect my router in the same place that I connected my Xfinity router, except they switched the line on the outside to be hooked up uh, to Starry. Uh, so it's great for them because they don't have to put in any new infrastructure, any new lines. They can just come in and tap in to the existing lines and uh, give you service. Um, and um, a lot of people have said that it there's like the there will be outages and your internet will go off if so much as a leaf just crosses through that beam. Uh, I have not really had that experience. It's currently snowing right now and my internet is functioning perfectly fine. Uh, I just tested it and uh, I don't have a screenshot. I should have done that, uh, but I just tested it and I'm getting 175. 
uh, which is a little bit less than the 200 advertised, but it's more than enough for what I need. Um, and Xfinity's uh, offer right now in the same area is uh, $30 a month, uh, but that's just for the first two years, and after that, uh, your contract goes up to 50. Uh, so, um, and why would you want to pay Xfinity? Uh, so anyway, I just really want people to support this company. Uh, I've got a thing in the description where you can sign up and get a month free, yada, yada. But that's not really the point of this. Is for, The point is that people need to know about Starry and know that it's good uh, because I don't want to lose my internet provider. I don't want to go back to Comcast. Uh, so please don't make me go back to Comcast. I, I just had a thought. What if, what if Ryan Reynolds bought Starry? Ryan Reynolds, if you're out there, if you're listening, uh, please just buy Starry. Uh, you fixed wireless by buying Mint Mobile. And now just fix fix internet providers because they're an oligopoly. So to fix them, please. Uh, so you're the only one, your only hope, you know, kind of thing. That sounded weird. Um, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, anyway. Um, wait! Ryan Reynolds is gonna sell Mint Mobile to T-Mobile? No! You can't do that! Why would you sell to... He better not sell out to T-Mobile. Anyway, get Starry Internet if you can. It, it's good. The end. Bye.